Alright, so now that I've shown you how to basically get all the information from the CVS, um, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and, I guess, update your files to the CVS. So, um, since the last time, um, we've synced and re-updated, and I've added this variable here called uh, Ginger. And um, basically, if you look over here in the project name, if there's no, um, basically, a right caret in front of the name, it means that your project is up to date with the CVS. So, what we're going to do here, um, we're going to go ahead and delete this here, because we really don't need that variable. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now you can see here that there's a carrot right next to it, which basically says that this is not up to date on the server. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click, go to team. So we're going to do all of our stuff through the CVS. And then what you're going to do here is right commit. Okay, now in this little box here, um, you need to enter a comment every single time you do any sort of update so we can know what you changed um, so right here I'm just going to say I removed okay so now what you do after that is you click finish and then it'll go ahead and commit it to the server and as you can see here we actually don't have a carrot next to it, so it's up to date. Um, did you want to commit something? Yeah, sure. Okay, right now I'm going to have Constantine go ahead and uh, commit something. So I can show you how to basically update the copy that you have on your computer to what's currently on the server. I'll just add. Okay, Constantine has now updated to the CVS server, so what we're going to do is right click on our project, we're going to go to team, and then we're going to click on update. And basically what this will do is it will grab um, any updated files from the repository. Okay, so now we go into here. He's created a variable called ginger and basically we can see that this has been updated so um, that's basically how to commit your code so that everybody else can see it and how to update so that you can get a current copy from the other users and that's it for now